Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rene Karajaram and I'm here today with a tea time vlog. So yeah guys, I want this to become a new series on my channel uh, where we just sit together and talk a little bit about life and everything that's going on. So if this is your type of video, take something to drink or a little snack and let's have a chat. There's a little bit of change, of course, my hair is a different color and a lot shorter. In one of my next videos, you'll see my transformation video. really felt like sitting down today and having this chat, so this is more important. So the topic I wanted to talk about today is racism and everything that's been going on with George Floyd. To be honest, it makes me so sad. It is such a sad event that's happened and uh, what happened to him, but on the other side, it woke something up in the society and this was something so deep deeply wrong in our society but this incident if i can call it an incident this murder has really shaken up the world and it is so beautiful to see that all of us have that strength and power in us to come up for those who are being discriminated in this world. And I want to say something about this all. Because again, it makes me very sad about everything that's happening. And to those who are parents or going to be parents or yeah, ever want children in their life. I want to say that my parents always explain to me that we as human beings are one no matter your skin color no matter your culture and we should treat those treat others like they are your own and it is so crucial that we stop being so racist because our the whole fundament of our systems are based on this I'm not fully sure on how to express things. Mm. We are not perfect, and that is okay. But the differences that we have make us beautiful for who we are. The different cultures, the different colors that we are all in, they make us unique. They make our personalities, the way we are, the way we love, different and special. So why would we discriminate why we why do we have any prejudgments prejudices of people because of their skin color it's not okay and i have experienced this with people close to me i have experienced it myself and i think more of us have my parents are from Suriname, that is in south america i think that in our society a lot of people from Surinamese background have also experienced this. In my upbringing, my parents always focused on the positive. Even though there might have been negative moments, they chose to teach me and my brother about finding the positive in life. Finding the positive elements in life. My point of all of this is that we are different, but that makes us beautiful. And this murder that has happened it has shaken up the world but it is so powerful that so many of us are standing up for the injustice that is happening but don't forget that this is not the only injustice that is happening it is not only happening with black people with the black community there is racism based on culture on belief there's discrimination on the way you look. There is discrimination on what you have achieved or what you have not achieved. At the end of the day, we need to understand that we are all one. We have come to this world and one day we will all go. So keep that in mind when you step out of the door. Keep in mind that just like how you have a family, 
they also have a family. They also have feelings, they also have hearts and treat one another equally. And this is for sure working progress for all of us. Because sometimes we might not be as kind as we would like to. But yeah, that is life, right? Try to be the best version of yourself. Be kind to one another, be loving to one another. It will give you so much more joy to see someone else smile. We should come up for our rights. And in this time, we should not be silent in any way, shape or form. Even if that means talking about it at home, having those discussions. It doesn't necessarily mean posting on social media, no. Looking at yourself and what you're doing and how are you taking part in society. And I saw quite some posts on social media about this topic. And I personally for sure can learn a lot more about this. Because there is so much to learn about this topic which would make me feel even more strongly. For sure. I am trying to do my part. By being the best version of myself. By being kind, by being accepting. By, by trying to be non-judgmental by trying to be as loving as I can. I'm not perfect, but that is okay. At least you're taking the step towards love. Don't let any hate fill your heart. Living in this society where so much is going on, you guys, it is quite overwhelming from the coronavirus to George Floyd, but also what happened recently in India where um, an elephant was killed uh, by some random guys that fed her a pineapple with fireworks inside and after the doctors did a check on how the animal came to die they found out that she was pregnant too those things and there's happening much more, don't forget I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw that a 12-year-old Somalian girl was murdered and she was bullied by her classmates who drowned her. She could not swim, she was dragged and there were bite marks found in her body. The police brushed her death aside as a tragic accident. These things make me so sad. This should not be acceptable and there is a lot of things that happen which is not okay. It is not okay. But we have a voice. As we are reading this, we need to stand up for the rights that maybe that's 12 yards million and girl who did not have the voice. We need to speak up. We need to be loving. We need to be pure hearted. And that is where it starts. That is where the change in society will start. And it is work in progress. But try to be the best version of yourself. <sighs> and yeah, these thoughts have been on my mind for the last few days. I wanted to just turn on the camera and talk to you guys a little bit about this. And let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think about all that is happening? How do you experience it? Do you just move it aside and continue? Do you really stand still by each thing that is happening? Do you let it go? What are you doing? Yeah, you guys, I'm not taking any political sides, but I'm standing up for what is right. And that is really important to me. Because my voice is one of many. And it starts at home. Love, equality, being non-judgmental. It all starts at home. So yeah, you guys, that is what I wanted to talk about today. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking about all of this. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. So until then, stay happy.